Well, crap. Things have escalated just a little bit. family welcome back to the garage and as you can see behind me yep that is no Honda that is a 1979 Yamaha YZ80F let's get a good look at it story to it so one of my followers uh, his name's Tyson he reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in this thing I just got to tell you I've got the best followers in the world you guys are awesome I mean who just does that At any rate he reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in this thing and I says absolutely I am so we made the deal I bought it from him actually had been from B&M's garage go over and pick it up because they live in the same city. He went and grabbed it and then, long story short, I've got it here. So what this thing is, is a 1979 Yamaha YZ80F. And he bought it from the original owner who bought it brand new and his kids grew up on this bike. It's been sitting in a shed for many, many, many years and when he found it, that's where it was. Covered in dust, just kind of nasty, like it's been sitting forever. So the goal for today is to get this thing fired off. See if we can get some fire built inside of it. I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's got a ton of compression in it. I'm a little nervous about that, but we're gonna see if we can get this thing fired up. But first things first, let's roll it outside and get some nasty, greasy, we're gonna pressure wash it because it's it's kind of gross. Cleaned up pretty good. Yo, uh, tank decals. I was afraid of that. They're pretty brittle and they kind of blew part of them off, but you know, that's all right. When we go to restore this thing, we'll just put new ones on it. So, let's tear the tank off this thing, pull the seat off this thing and a couple side panels, and uh, let's see if it's even got spark. If it's got spark, let's check compression, and let's get those two things out of the way. If they're good, we'll pull the carb off. I've got some carburetor parts. We'll rebuild this thing, see if this thing will light. So, first things first, fuel tank. Got a fairly new uh, seat cover on it. It's not the right one, but pretty new. That's awesome. Shabby. A little vet, a little wet ski, but uh, not bad. We'll throw her back in. Let's check compression, see if it's even got any. Let's let her down, kick her over, see what she reads. I got a feeling it's going to be way on the low side. I put my thumb over it and just kind of rolled it over and Probably not great. More than likely gonna be pulling the head on this thing to uh, 
do some more investigating. Yeah. Well, that's not great. Yeah, not quite even a hundred pounds. So, could be a number of things. It could have a very small pinhole in the top of the piston. It could just be flat wore out, which is more than likely, because let's face it, these things, they got the guts rode out of them. I mean, this bike's probably gone through 10 different kids throughout its life. So, I think the next step on this thing is to uh, pull the cylinder head off of it. Take a look down inside and see what it looks like down in there. Might be as simple as a stuck ring. I don't know. So, we'll pull the cylinder head off of it and just get our peepers on it and have an idea of which direction we're going to go with this. It's a cute little pipe. <laughs> That's cool. Old school. Copper gasket. That's awesome. The top of the head looks great. A little dirty, but uh, you know, you'll have that. It's definitely not looking real promising down inside of that cylinder. There is zero cross hatches in the bore and it's awfully polished. So, I'm gonna go ahead, rip the uh, carburetor and the intake off of this thing, pop the jug off of it, and uh, we'll inspect the piston. See if there's any slight chance we can just, uh, you know, hone that cylinder real quick and clean some rings up and maybe it'll fire. But more than likely, we're headed to the machine shop with this cylinder and this head. I just love these little old two strokes, man. The simplicity behind them is just, it's just so awesome. There's nothing to them. Like I've really been working on this thing possibly an hour and within, within the hour, I should say, we'll have the top end of this thing tore apart. Most people couldn't do that on a modern four stroke. I guess if you did it day in, day out, you probably could, but most people, no. This is about as bare bones, as simple as a dirt bike gets. It's great. Carburetor, so cute. Now the tricky part is getting the cylinder head off the cases, because they're on a dowel, looks like. And I don't recommend this, but I'm gonna get a pry bar on the back side of the jug on the intake, and just lightly just give her a little boop, tap, and see if I can break that loose, and hopefully, Hopefully, not break anything, but no guarantees. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, she's gonna go. Perfect. There's the back. Oh, there's the front. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. It's fantastic. Come off of there, old girl. I know, you've been on there a long time. Fantastic. Woo, there's a lot of garbage down in that thing. Yikes.
Well, that escalated quickly. Yeah, my plan was to pull the jug off and just, uh, you know, take the old ball hone and clean the jug up because it's glazed pretty bad, which, you know, is to be expected. But uh, yeah, turns out the bottom half of this thing has had a lot of water sitting inside of it at some point, and it's mixed in with oil and fuel and dirt and grime because it didn't have an air filter on it. So my plan is now, we're gonna pull the motor out, split the cases on this thing, and uh, ship it off to my buddy Dave Lindsay and let him do his machining magic on this thing, and it'll be done, it'll be done perfect, and it'll last a long time. So that's the plan. So in the meantime, I'm gonna gather up a bunch of parts for this thing, you know, gaskets, and because parts for this are probably gonna be relatively hard to find. So I'm gonna start doing that while he's got the motor and waiting on him to do the machine work. And uh, I'd like to know, any of you guys that have watched this, do you guys have any history with one of these bikes? I'd really like to know, because pretty much everybody that I've talked to that's of my age or a little bit older, they grew up on one of these things. Did you guys ever have a little air-cooled or even the later modeled liquid-cooled YZ80s? If you did, I'd like to hear the story because everybody that's had one of these, they've got a story and possibly some scars. So leave it down in the comments. I'm curious and uh, as always, I appreciate every single one of you more than you know and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.